Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are just going to create a realistic uh, T-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. So let us go to our Photoshop and let's get it done. So my Photoshop has been open always just for this particular tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import in that particular image I, I downloaded. This particular picture is downloaded from Freepik and it looks good and it looks uh, somehow uh, which I think it can be used. You get that. So after importing in your image just like this, the first thing you need to do is to duplicate this particular image or this particular layer by pressing ctrl g to have it just like that you get that and the next step to do is to go to your filter then you come to blur then you go to your gas and blur then you click on that you get that then the radius you can make it around three or four depending on how you want it you get that so for my own i'll just make it a uh, radius four always try to make your radius lesser not that bigger you get that yes then you click what you click okay then when you have something like this, then you can now save it. You go to your file, come to save a copy. We just want to save a copy of this blur, this blur image. Yes, you get that. So I'm just going to save it by tagging it CC. Then I'll save it as a Photoshop uh, file. That PSD is go okay for me. You get that. Then I'll save it just like this. Then that one is done. Then I'll delete this particular file, the layer that I have just created, I've just blur. I'll delete that one. Then the next thing again I'm going to do is to import in that design that I want to place on this particular uh, t-shirt. So I'm just going to go file, then come to place a link. Then I'll look for this particular this thing. Then I'll just import it just like that. Then I'll try and transform it just a little bit just to fit in what i want or the kind of this thing i want it to be on that shirt then i'll click on ok you get that after doing this as you can see it has background you can either working with png file or a background on like white that one doesn't have a problem you get that so the next step i'm going to do is to right click on this particular layer and then rasterize the layer then i'll change the blending mood over there to what to multiply just like that then i can have something like this over there then maybe i can just decide to move it around or just leave it um just place it how i want it to be placed and uh if something like this is okay for me no problem maybe i may also decide to do it uh, later on you get that so after having something like this over there the next thing that you have to do is to go to filter just like that then you come to distort then you come to displace then you click on displacement then when you click on displacement horizontal should be 10 vertical should be 10 uh, uh displacement map should be straight to fit and undefined should be repeated edges places and that was okay then you click okay then what you save then what what we save is here premium photo cc then we click on that just to display that one on the distance so as you can see it has go into the image in in a way that the all the texture everything will come up you see as the image is wrap it, it over here has wrap so it has to go in in that and that's so cool so the next thing again i'm going to do is to blend it to the image texture then it will look realistic so i'm just going to click on fx then i'll come to blending options over there you get that yes then when that is done then i'll come over here then i'll try and move this one around here so that you can see it well then we have something like this so over here the current layer this is it and then the underdine layer this is that you get that so on this particular left side this in the white side i'm just going to hold uh, alternate and then just try and drag this one a little bit over there just to see the texture i want because i want some texture to come out from that image as you can see it has close up the texture is coming up just like that and this looks so cool and this looks so beautiful you get that yes maybe you can just decide to make it somewhere a little bit but i think this is okay for me you get that yes then i can click okay just like that and as you can see as we are moving it it has to change around you get that it has to change it has to you know get all that everything you get that yes so this is how we create a t-shirt mock-up in photoshop and it looks so realistic thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics and have a nice day bye bye